welcome back i am back here on my couch my big comfy couch here at cena's dolls and who i have here with me is baby my new full body silicone baby ethan say hello aunties he is the nash sculpt i got him again from a seller on it's well a not just a seller she is a silicone artist she sculpts the silicone pours the silicones and she also paints the silicones and this is the nash sculpt the only one she made out of this pores is him and um her name is caroline he is is h e u s s so i think that that's how you pronounce her name and this is my baby named Ethan. So what I'm going to do with him today is a changing video. I'm going to powder him some, my first time powdering him. And then I'm going to show you guys my haul from Walmart. It's a um, just a small haul. They're having um, a sale on baby clothes, certain items. And I, got, I wanna show you guys that. I have him here wrapped up in this um, Halo baby wrap. And this wrap, I actually bought this second hand on Macari with other bundles of clothing that I purchased some time ago. We're gonna talk a little bit about Macari as well and finding good deals for our um, babies on there. If you guys are you guys shop on Macari or don't know much about it, you can find really good deals pertaining to your the clothes for our um, reborns. Or if you have, you know, clothes that you want to buy for family members, there are really good deals and not all of the clothes are used. There's a lot of people that sell clothes brand new with tags on them for really good prices. So this is one of the items I purchased some time ago. And I wrapped him in this. I've been having so much fun with him since I got him and um, showing him off to my children. My daughter, my niece came over. She is like in awe with him as well. So we are all having a great time with him. So I'm going to unwrap him in this. And I'm going to show you guys a little details uh, about him. Some things that I didn't get to show during the box opening, but I do want to start with his um, his painting. I think that his painting is realistic and gorgeous. He has blushing. He also has um, veining. He does not have any eyebrows or eyelashes, but that's okay. Um, he still looks realistic to me. I won't be adding any or sending him anywhere for it to be added. I, I just love him just the way he is. Boo-boo baby or not, and he is considered a boo-boo baby, if I didn't mention it in this video. But he, the artist considered him a boo-boo baby and I got him at a great price. When I tell you, the price that I got him for was unbelievable. If I told you guys the price, you, you wouldn't believe it. But I got him at a great great price. He has rooted hair. I did him like a little mohawk on top. But he has rooted hair. I thought it was just rooted hair on top. But from the pictures. But he has rooted hair all in the back as well. Sparsely rooted um, hair. I didn't brush all of it back there. Um, just mainly the front. Kind of styled the front and the sides. But to me that's realistic. Um, a lot of babies do not have a whole lot of hair when they're born. So he has uh, realistically rooted hair. He has these baby gray eyes, very high quality eyes. He's gorgeous. His earlobes are realistic to me. Both sides. And, um... He is very squishy. He is Equal Flex 20. He's poured an Equal Flex 20 all in one pour. Let me bring him up again. 
He has squishy face. Take this out. He has tongue and gums. Let me see. Look at this. I don't know if I should be <laughs> trying to go all in there, but he has tongue and gums. And um, I've been giving him this little pacifier. I did add in some lubricant so it could be easy, smooth transition going in. I don't want to mess up his paint. And I got that from Marisol. I've been watching her videos, how she do her um, silicone pacifiers okay now his little arms so I did notice they are able to go up like this but they they're like made down you can't really lift up from his shoulder so <laughs> as far as they'll go like that so if I want to position him or pose him I could only do it from the elbow up because the shoulders does not give it any it's not any lax in the shoulders to for his arm his whole arm to go up so i don't do it i don't stress it because i don't want to get any rips any tears anything like that in his uh silicone so i'm going to unbutton him out of this bring him in bring the camera in a little closer he really does i notice have a really long torso his um, chest and everything is just really long. So that's telling me that he would be really tall. <laughs> he would be a tall person when he got older. And let's see here. I love the way she did his little nipples on his chest. He has a birthmark right here by his navel she left his his little see the little birthmark she left his little stump here which is to me very realistic so i'm careful with this making sure that it does not fall off you guys can see the veining in his his chest area his neck i have to be careful with his head because his head is heavy and I want to make sure that his neck doesn't um, flip and flop. I don't want his head to fall off. I don't know if that could happen, but <laughs> I'm not going to try and see. So I'm very, very careful with him like I would a newborn baby. Because he is a newborn baby. So he has the veining on his arms. And then this, his wrist, I notice... Um, I think this is where the boo-boos, a lot of his boo-boo are on his wrist here. So I don't know if she tried to connect it and it didn't connect and she had to re like connect the wrist, the hand onto the arm at the wrist area. So that's what it looks like to me. I'm not sure I'm not an um, artist or a sculptor, but that's what it looks like. She had to reconnect the hand to the wrist, but she did add in like veining and things like that to try to make it look like normal i guess so that's his chest and then going down to his feet his legs they're perfect they're wobbly they're soft his feet are um tipped so his he has tipped nails on his feet and hands they're white white so they're actually not as realistic because they are so white, <clears throat> but that's okay. I got everything else that I wanted. <laughs> and she did make an effort to, you know, tip him. So tip his nails. So that was, that was okay. So what I'm doing now is just going in dabbing. I did not try to, um, rinse him off or anything because i know some people mention that they rinse their babies off he's so heavy and I, I don't know um 
how to do that without him slipping out of my hands. I don't know. I'm just imagining how it would be. So I was thinking of getting my daughter Sky's um, old bathtub that she's not using and put him in the baby tub, the, her baby tub, and um, put him on there and try to rinse him off. But I don't see a need to rinse him off right now, though. So if I were trying to do that, I would just be doing that just to do it. <laughs> just for the experience. But I don't think I'm going to do that right now. So I'm just dab dotting on a little bit of this matting powder on him. He's not even, he's not really shiny. But since I have been um, handling him and my daughters have and my niece, I said, well, let me put a little um, matting powder on him. Let me show you his back. Okay. <laughs> so, I have to be careful with his head. His head does have a little give in for a turn, but I don't really fool with his head like that either. Like, mess with his head. And, oh, that's too much. And I got hair on it. So his back was looked a little shiny. I'm going to bring some down to his legs because I think I put a little too much on here. Just dab it like a shiny on the back of his head some. So let me turn him back over. Now there is a certain way that I am supposed to matte or powder him. Let me know. I'm not sure. I just dab it. So I'm going on here. I just dab it on here. I'm not sure if there is a particular way to do it. He's not wet or anything. Like I said, I didn't rinse him off or anything. Um, just he had a little shiny spots on his his little feet. But yeah, he is. He's nice. So what I'm going to do is, I already changed his diaper. So he has a diaper, has little cute letters on there. I think it's an honest diaper. I'm not sure to be honest, <laughs> but I think it's a um, honest diaper. All right. And then he does have like a little nap or a little bump or something right here on the side of his head. You can't really tell because the hair is there. And he has a little rough patches that you can't see on camera on, on his stomach. But other than that, I mean, and he has a little bump right here on his leg. I don't know if you guys are able to see that. But that stuff to me is nothing because I did hear that silicone is not perfect regardless. So that does not bother me. All right, so we're going to get into the Walmart haul because I'm, I'm going to put him on one of these outfits. So I went to my local Walmart, found some cute, cute little outfits on sale. Got these pants from Walmart. It has $3.98 on it, and it was $0.75. Cents. And these are the Grand Animals. And these, all of the outfits that I got are 0 to 3 months. So this is zero to three months. These were 75 cents, some other pants. Got these little um, long sleeve shirt with dinosaurs. This was $2. This one were $2. And like I said, all of them still had $3.98, but they were marked down. With Walmart, a lot of times the prices that are listed on the clothes and even on the rack sale, it's not going to tell you it's on sale. But if you have the Walmart app, download the Walmart app and scan the clothes with the app and it's going to give you what the price is. So if I, if I didn't scan it, I wouldn't know that these were $2 because it had $3.98 on there. So I just, they had a, a rack where it said some things were $2 and it, it was like a lot of stuff was out of place. And those were not. So I just started scanning everything <laughs> with my phone and found out that these were $2. The pants were 75 cents. Now this pants is, were $2. These were 
these dinosaur pants were two dollars and this is also zero to three and with these outfits you can dress them interchangeable well match them up interchangeable with the um with the pants the pan sets and then i found this this was regular price this is a newborn to zero to three months and this was 544 so this was regular price but this is what i think i'm going to put him on for this video because it's red it has little trucks on it and i am dressing my babies for valentine's and this is even though it's not a valentine's day outfit it's close enough because it's red i guess and but i don't think i'm gonna leave him in it because i am going to be dressing him and other things because he's new and he's my first silicone and i feel comfortable with dressing him and doing different things with him because i feel like since i didn't invest a whole lot of money into him i didn't even invest some of my reborns to be honest <laughs> cost more than what i paid for him um so i feel comfortable with being able to get a lot of practice with him without having without thinking about oh my god he was just as much as a car i can't do this i can't do that you know feeling nervous so I, I i am nervous with him but not as much as i would be if i did um have a higher end silicone doll so i can really enjoy him let's just say that i can really enjoy him not to say that people who do have high-end silicones can't let's just be clear on that but for me for myself how i am personally i'm able to um enjoy just enjoy him without having fear of messing him up so yeah i'm looking around i was trying to see if i could if i had a onesie or anything which i don't but i do have this shirt now this is this is what he had on out of the box opening so i think i'm gonna put this shirt back on him and then put him on this um this jumper with well, this sleeper i call it sleeper and this was a newborn size the shirt that he came in is a newborn size so moving right along i want to discuss makari buying clothes for your babies on makari now i was on makari last night and i put in the search in the search bar newborn board clothes in a lot of different shops a lot of different options for newborn boy clothes came up and a lot of them came up with brand new tags still on them bundles when i say bundles that means everything inside the pictures is what you're going to get for that one price so it's bundles so i found him and i was looking specifically for him um i found this the first bundle now this one is just it had gently used clothes it was like i want to say six or seven outfits gently used looked at the pictures really well for four dollars so like four to five well five to six outfits for four dollars and shipping i think might have been like five dollars on that one so but for four dollars five dollars to ship for like five to six outfits that was a good deal so i put that in my cart then i found a shop that had a newborn clothes with tags on them carters for eight dollars and i think though that one had like five different items in there brand new with tags on it for eight dollars so put that in my cart <laughs> and i just found like a lot of nice quality brand new clothes 
for like eight dollar for bundle eight dollar bundles nine dollar bundle that four dollar bundle nothing over ten dollars for bundles of clothes and when you read about some people put in that they're selling these clothes because their babies grow so fast they never got to wear the items so they you know they want to make a little money or you know they're not making a lot because by the time Macari takes out their fees they're not making a lot on some, selling something for eight dollars or four dollars they're not making anything off of that um but they want something and they maybe just want to help somebody else out that just had a baby or you know anything like that they don't know i'm in there shopping for <laughs> for my babies for my reborn and silicone dolls but hey that's that's not any information for them to know i'm just putting a little powder on his ears and head so I got a great deal on those things and I will share those items with you guys when they come in next week because though that was a good deal brand new clothes for like I said eight to nine dollar bundles so you guys check that out let me know what you guys um, think about that or if you have shopped on Macari for clothes for your for your babies let me know how you know how that goes for you I also shop for my girls. I put in, you know, their size, like baby girl clothes, three months or three to six months or whatnot. And you can filter in if you want free shipping. A lot of people have free shipping options for you to um, choose. You know, if you don't want to pay for shipping, a lot of people sell a lot of stuff for free shipping. So. You can filter it the way you need to, but I just thought that that was a nice option if you don't want to go out to the thrift store or the thrift stores in your area are overpriced like mines are. And I don't know where they get off overpricing items that they get for free from people and then price gouge <laughs> when they sell it. Like, that's ridiculous. I remember going to the thrift store and stuff was like 3 and $4 or 75 cents or now it's like eight dollars ten dollars twelve thirteen i'm like i could buy this brand new out the store like i'm not buying that and you guys are getting it for free like people are donating this stuff and you're price gouging like i don't like that at all so i'd rather do my thrifting online you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to fight the rona or anything like that <laughs> you don't have to worry about people in your face all you gotta do is scroll. Just scroll and look to get the best price. So this is what he has on. Look how cute. Look how cute. <laughs> he looks adorable. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about your nephew? He looks adorable, right? Bring your man closer. He's a, such a cuddly baby. Say, I'm a real boy. <laughs> All right, family. I am about to end this video. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. I am on my third week of ever being on YouTube, having any type of videos or anything. This is my third week. Thank you guys for all the love. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. And um, I love seeing you guys' videos and interacting with you. One thing about it, I've always interacted and commented on channels, but it was on my, the, before I even had a YouTube channel. Um, I just had the regular, my regular um, YouTube account and my name, Hasina Morrison. So I interacted and you know, spoke with a lot of people just on that. But now since I have my reborn YouTube channel, it's it's fun. It's even more fun and interesting to see how we all interact with each other. So this is fun. Thank you guys again for your support. And I will be back with another video.